When I was a kid, a really great organ was installed in the parish where my family went to church. This absolutely stunning instrument, I remember immediately being taken by it. I'm Paul Thornock. I'm the director of music here at the Cathedral Basilica of St. John the Baptist in Savannah. My job here is to conduct the choir, to play the organ, and to organize all the facets of the musical life at the cathedral. I think one of the great things about, about a job like this is that every day is completely different. So I'm, I'm right now, I'm working on speaking as you pray. I'm doing the, the uh, G minor prelude right here. Dupre kind of came out of nowhere in, in the, the French organ school, and he made sure that all of the students were all placed where he wanted them. Bar 26. singing in the cathedral, well, choral singing in general, is such a communal undertaking. And choral singing by its very nature requires everyone to sort of give off something of themselves. you're always asking the singers to do less of something. To in fact be maybe even less of themselves in order to create this, this new whole that, uh, that didn't exist before. Hi, my name is Laura Pantofer. I am a first soprano in the Cathedral Choir. I think one of the really unique things about this group in particular is that there's a lot of love that goes around and like such wonderful fellowship and we're really dedicated to the same thing, all want the same thing, and we have a lot of fun while we're doing it. Music, I feel for me, has always been a part of prayer as long as I can remember. So I suppose to join this group, it's taken me to like a whole other level of that connection. Uh, you know, everything we do here, the music at mass and, and the building itself, even, even what you hear from the pulpit, from the clergy, is, is completely outside of time. And uh, the repertoire itself that, that we do is, is great music. It's the, the, the great music of civilization. And so again, there's this timeless aspect of the music itself, but of this interaction with, with human beings. To recreate what's already on the page and make it come alive. 